Hello, Bill Molino here with Bill's History World with Goober the Traveling Bear. And we are in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. And we are behind the big round top on a road called Howe Avenue. And one of the things I like to do is focus on places that aren't seen quite so often. And this site is way out past artillery. Oh my gosh, it's Goober the Traveling Bear. Now this is one of the sites of Gettysburg and uh, it's not seen very often. Um, a lot of people don't come out here. It's past Artillery Ridge Campground and we're going to just take a walk along the, uh, the path. We have um, a dead cat on the microphone. We'll see how that's going to do for the wind. It's pretty windy today. All right, this is our first marker as we walk along our path. It is the 119th Pennsylvania Infantry, 3rd Brigade, 1st Division, 6th Corps. And to give you your idea, that direction there is heading towards Gettysburg and Little Round Top. And Big Round Top sits right up there. So uh, that's where you are. And of course, we're on the Union Lines and going that way would be the confederates but this is the extreme extreme far left of the union line um, and out there i've done a video of south calvary battlefield which is out there probably another mile and a half all right well i'm not sure if i'll be redoing the audio here or not but we're uh we're going to walk down the path here to this artillery I presume this is a battery on um, the three inch guns. So three inch rifled guns, they're black barrels, they have like a soda bottle look to them. They're good for long range compared to the 12 pounder Napoleon, but they don't do so well in canister fire. All right, Army of the Potomac, 5th Corps, Battery C, 1st New York Light Artillery. Four three-inch rifles. Um, Captain Barnes in command. And as you can see, they moved and occupied this position to the close of the battle. Um, the Sixth Corps really wasn't involved in any really heavy action overall compared to like the First Corps. And um, of course, General uh, Sickles and his Third Corps that got overrun on the second day, but. Now this is a flank marker, so the left flank of the 119th Pennsylvania and up there where Goober the Traveling Bear was sitting was our right flank marker. Okay, well we're going to uh, pause the camera and we're going to walk down to the rest of these monuments. Alright, well we've walked a bit. Um, I don't know, not very far. The 6th Main Infantry, 3rd Brigade, 1st Division, 6th Corps. Um, interesting monument. Let me take a look on the other side. Let's see if they have any casualties. And this monument has nothing else on it. All right, well, um, held this position July 3rd, 1863 in the afternoon, moved to support the center, then to Big Round Top. Okay, so I, I'm going to gather the 6th Maine really was not engaged at the battle. So let's uh, pause our camera here and check out the next uh, marker. All right, well, we've come to the 3rd Brigade, 6th Corps marker, um, Brigadier General David A. Russell. and had the 6th Main, 49th, 19th Pennsylvania, 5th Wisconsin. Um, I'm not going to read all this and have you get bored. They had two men wounded, okay? So the 3rd Brigade of the 6th Corps really didn't... Uh, it, uh, really didn't get too heavily engaged. Um, so our right flank marker of the 49th Pennsylvania Volunteers is here. 
And I'm going to say down there is our next marker for the 49th Pennsylvania Volunteers. So let's go take a look at that one. Okay, here's our 49th Pennsylvania 3rd Brigade 1st Division 6th Corps marker. It's actually pretty nice. And this site, of course, is uh, off the beaten path. So they have a, a musket on, the, on their monument. And then on the one side, it has the listings of organized September 14th, 1861. Uh, died of disease, 173. 33 wounded, captured, missing. Wow. So the total enrollment for this regiment was 1,400 men. And at the end of the war, 729. So they basically lost half. We'll walk around the mark. The marker monument very nice monument and it's listing Yorktown Williamsburg really a nice marker um, recruited in the counties of Chester Huntington Mifflin and you uh, you uh, counties Coming around the other side. Alright, let's see what this says. This regiment made a continuous march from Manchester, Maryland, arriving on the field of the afternoon of July 2nd. Occupied position in the morning. The enemy is assault. Afternoon moved to support the center at Round Top. You gotta remember that the temperature during the Gettysburg campaign was over in the 90s. So doing a forced march um, from Manchester, Maryland, which is south of uh, Win Westminster, probably a solid 20 miles from here. Okay, so we're gonna zip down here to our next monument. All right, well, we're at the left flank of the 49th Pennsylvania Volunteers and the right 5th West Virginia Infantry. And we're gonna go down and check on their uh, monument down here. So let's walk down a bit and check this next one out. All right, well, we zip down here to the left, fifth West Virginia left flank marker. So if we were the, uh, the regiment and we were looking out that way, that's what they would be seeing. And of course, over that hill, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna guess a mile. I wish I had Tim Smith of the Adams County Historical Society with me because he would know exactly how far away those Confederates were. All right, let's go hit our last monument on this turnaround path. All right, this is the 5th Wisconsin. I thought it was West Virginia at one point. It's Wisconsin Volunteers. You know, I'm not a licensed battlefield guide, but I do try to, to hit places that you don't see quite often. So, my mistake, and we'll see how my uh, video comes out with the issue of uh, the wind out here. It's incredible. 5th Wisconsin Volunteers, Gettysburg, July 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Beautiful monument. Beautiful monument. Um, 174 killed, 548 wounded. Um, that is for the entire war, not for Gettysburg. Let's see if we have anything on the back side. And yes, we do. This regiment moved from the center to the point early July 3rd to resist threatened attacks on this flank, moved hastily back in the afternoon to assist in repelling the attack on the center, and later to took position on the crest of Big Round Top which is out there. So, all right. Now, I apologize for my mix up on West Virginia and Wisconsin. You don't know it, but on the video, I had a car full of uh, people from Florida that were lost and they ended up on this road and I had to help them out with some directions, which also threw me off, but still, uh, doesn't uh, 
doesn't make up for my massive mistake on confusing West Virginia or Wisconsin and West Virginia together. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this road tour of a site that very few tourists visit. And Goober the Traveling Bear was here too. Thank you. Stay safe. Be kind. Be courteous. And please subscribe to my history channel. Thank you again.